All right, so we're gonna show you real quick how to, uh, this is just a real simple corner post. We already got it cut. I'm just gonna show you a quick little trick to always make sure it's square and it don't take extra long to do it either. Um, so here, I want you to record this up, up close. I'm gonna show you guys how I found this. And this is Camden Point. I always use it, so I, so I already know the number. But once in a while I'll use, you know, if I do sub work or something, they'll buy a different kind of uh, uh, siding and the corner post will be a little different. So right here, this is pretty much square. There's a little play in it, so you might not, so you might have to try it out once or twice. But I know, right about three and five eighths, maybe three and three quarter, is where I, where I'll usually snap my lines on this. Okay, and you can probably kind of see we're pretty close to three and three quarter there. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna snap two lines really quick. I will pull. Three and three quarter right here. Do the same thing over here. This is pretty heavy solder. Okay. I got camera going, Brad. <laughs> Talk about how heavy a piece of aluminum it is. <laughs> <on camera. laughs> Damn, dude. Act like you've done it before. Dang. So, just the one thing falls out that I need. Damn, cook broke off this thing. Kind of a weird spot for a nail to line or a line a line to land. So what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is I'll I'm gonna snap this side. This will be the side that I set first. Just because I know this side is gonna be a lot easier for me to see. else cut it I can tell right here there's some pencil marks on it usually I put the pencil marks towards the top because you want the cleaner edge towards the bottom also if I were to just put this on right here I put it on right now when the siding hooks in and comes over it's gonna go right here meaning this will all be visible that's ugly you know what I mean and I can't tell you how many houses I pull up to and I see that they didn't trim those off so you how to do that real quick it's just real simple get up close you just kind of go right in this little crevice till you pass it and then take it off okay you do it on the other side as well no set length for it usually you hang your corners down an inch like i said i didn't cut this i'm gonna trust this pretty close to an inch and uh, we're gonna try and keep that consistent. Come on this left side now. Okay, so. I'm gonna cheat off this line a little bit. I think, the, I think it should have been three and five eighths, not three and three quarters. What I usually do to start this off though, is I'll put a nail right at the top of that flange. That way, it can't drop any. You know what I mean? So like, like I said, I'm going to let that line show just a little more than I would have liked. And, and this should, uh, should land pretty square. Alright, now come on. 
come over here. Now I'm going to cheat on this line a little bit too. You can always kind of hold the corner a little more where you want it. Then you uh, set it. Take a look at that for how square it is. Broke through that one. Let me kind of show that. So it don't take too long, and now you don't got to sit there fiddling with it, left and right, and getting back and stepping and seeing how it looks. It's a nice straight corner. Okay, bye.